creating diagrams can be a time consuming and super frustrating process. Especially if you're like me and you just don't know anything about graph design and you're not a design expert. So I asked myself, what if I used AI and ChatGPT in order to create stunning diagrams for the stuff that I use at work or for presentations or for my website? And after mastering the craft, all my colleagues came up to me and they asked me, Mo, how do you do these like beautiful designs so quickly? And I will show you exactly how to do that in this video. I've tried over 10 different diagram plugins on ChatGPT such as Diagrams, Data Research, Whimsical Diagrams, Diagram Genius, UML Diagram Creation Expert. But in the end, the one that worked for me the best was Diagrams Show Me. And I will show you exactly how to use it in this video. By the way, I'm not sponsored to make this video, I just like to use it. But before we get into an example, I just want to say this. Choosing the right diagram type for your content is super important. Different diagram types serve different purposes. I'll show you exactly how I selected the type of diagram that I used for work and for my blog post in seconds with a ChatGPT prompt. But here's a quick rundown of why choosing the right diagram type is more important than the diagram itself. For example, if you want to illustrate a process or sequence of events, a flowchart or a timeline would be ideal. If you're brainstorming ideas or organizing information, a mind map is a great choice. And if you want to compare different options or highlight advantages of your product or your website or your services, a comparison chart or bar graph can be really effective. I've outlined each style of diagram in this guide, but I encourage you to take a moment to think about the message that you want to convey with your diagrams and select the best diagram type that best supports your content. Okay, you've got it? I assume you got it. Let's get to an example right now. Let's use my stock appreciation rights blog post as an example. I made a blog post outlining exactly what stock appreciation rights are, but I didn't have any visual content. So I wanted to create something for this blog post to really like showcase what stock appreciation rights are because people are visual learners and just reading this text doesn't convey the information. The first thing that I did is this. I selected this prompt. I said, please give me some suggestions on what diagrams I could show to explain my article about stock appreciation rights better. And then I say my blog post is below and then I pasted my blog post there. And then I selected this and sent it off to diagrams show me. It gave me this response. It says to show your diagram, it recommended a flow chart, a timeline, a comparison chart, and a bar chart or line graph, as well as a mind map. So the next thing that I do is I prompt it to give me exactly what it told me that is best. And I just tell it to give me a flow chart. And here's the output. It tells you you grant an SAR or a stock appreciation, right? There's a vesting period, there's a vesting conditional met, exercise window, exercise SAR, or do not exercise SAR. If the vesting period is not met, then the SAR expires. And if you exercise the stock appreciation, right, you receive a payout and there is a payout in cash or stock. So that was wonderful. This is already great, but it also gives me the options to view the full diagram, you can do that here. You can download the PNG or you can uh, edit this PNG in Miro, which is an editing tool for graphs and um, flowcharts. So in Miro, this is very basic. This does not look at all like the original thing that it showed me, but here you have more flexibility in order to show different types of styles. So if you want to make this bold, you can just click command B or click the B here. You can do a highlight text and do a white highlight or a a yellow highlight and uh, for each of these you can make it italic you can click command i you can really play around with this and make it exactly how you want it to be so now that we have this first image ready it still remembers all of the previous content that we posted before so now we want to create a timeline and in order to create a timeline we need to provide it with more specific information 
In this case, I'm gonna say, please create a timeline diagram to show the progression of the SAR from the grant date through the vesting period to the exercise window. Include the following milestones. Granting of SAR 21, vesting period for three years from 2022 to 2024, and the exercise window, three years, 2025 to 2028. By providing these specific details, ChatGPT can generate a timeline diagram that, that accurately represents the key stages of milestones of SAR that I'm trying to convey. But what if you want to customize the diagram further? That's no problem. You can just provide additional instructions to ChatGPT to refine the design or use of editing tools like Miro or Mermaid. For example, you can click here, edit with code, and it will provide you with a different link to be able to edit this diagram. So you can simply click on theme, and say you want it to be dark and it's already much prettier. So you, you can see it here in full screen, but now that you have it here, you can also take a screenshot of this and download it as an image. There we go. And here's one last quick example of how to create another chart. And in this case, I wanna create a mind map to outline the benefits of SARS for employees and companies creating visual representation. I'm gonna allow it. And in this case, it will create a mind map that in my opinion is not too beautifully to look at, but we can edit it and make it prettier with Miro. So we select edit with Miro. And here you can see that it's like all over the place. But uh, in this case, I've shuffled it around and played around with it. So here are some of the designs that I came up with in Miro. In this case, I have the stock appreciation rights versus stock options. Here you can see the benefit of the stock appreciation rights for the employees versus the SAR companies that offer them. And lastly, I have a basic diagram showing the stock appreciation rights stages as well as a timeline that I specified of how the SARs are granted and how they benefit people. So as you can see, ChatGPT isn't perfect. You always want to make some sort of adjustment, but it's a really good building block to start your design process and then just make your adjustments after that. In my opinion, Diagrams Show Me is the best tool to use as well as whimsical diagrams, but you should try out different ones as well. All of the tools are changing almost every single day, so you want to try out different tools to see what gives you the best results. The key thing to remember is you want to edit your charts to fit your needs. And the nice thing about Miro or Mermaid is that you can do that on the fly. ChatGPT is a good starting point, but after that, you can just create the charts exactly how you want them to be. I hope you found this video helpful, but beyond just getting the basics, if you really want to master diagramming and charting with ChatGPT, you might want to check out my comprehensive guide that is linked below in the description and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I read all of them. So hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.